Hello, everyone. Then let's talk about a compound helicopter that shines at this year's Paris Air Show. It's the French Airbus Racer. Yes, let's talk about what kind of design concept he has and what breakthroughs he has in performance. Sounds very interesting. So let's go directly to the draft to see what's special about this helicopter. I also want to know, it's this racer that shines at the Paris Air Show. What kind of special design is it? It's a composite helicopter launched by French Airbus. It's actually a combination of fixing your plane and helicopter. It combines the advantages of both. Then he also performed a very stunning flight show at the Paris Air Show, a focal point of the entire exhibition. This racer, his composite helicopter. How did he achieve such a significant performance improvement over traditional helicopters? His secret is that he has this compound propulsion system. Um, ah, he has a main rotor. Um, ah, this main rotor is to provide his life force and basic control. And then at the ends of his two short wings, he has two propulsion propellers. Um, uh, this propulsion propeller is to provide his main forward flight thrust so that this can reduce the burden of the main rotor, allowing him to fly faster. Plus, his short wings can also provide extra lift at high speed. So his efficiency will be higher. Sounds very ingenious. Ah, uh, yes. How much speed can he achieve? And the goal here is to get to 407 kilometers per hour, which is about half the speed of mainstream helicopters, right? So it's going to allow him to have a shorter response time when he's on a mission, and then a shorter flight time, which will greatly improve his efficiency. This racer, this hybrid helicopter, how did he achieve such a fast speed and then maintain a more efficient and economical flight? He optimized his aerodynamic efficiency through his unique composite design, and then his fuel consumption was reduced by about 20% compared to traditional helicopters, and his range would be longer so that he could reduce his logistical pressure.